Welcome to Antex PowerPoint Presentations. In the next couple of minutes, I will explain the principle of electrochemical detection in HPLC. Antec is supplier of the Alexis, which is an HPLC product line with electrochemical detection. We developed a number of applications in different research areas. Electrochemical detection for HPLC is applied in a number of analyses, such as neurotransmitters in blood or brain, vitamins or carbohydrates in food, phenols in environmental samples, or aminoglycosides in pharmaceutical preparations. This slide shows the detection principle. When an electrochemically active substance elutes from the column, it enters the flow cell and hits the electrode surface. On the surface, the electrochemical reaction takes place. The electrons are transferred and a peak appears in the chromatogram. This is a close-up of what is going on in the cell. A potential is applied between the working and the auxiliary electrode. When an electrochemically active substance enters the flow cell, it moves from the bulk to the electrode surface by diffusion. On the surface, the electron transfer reaction takes place. An electrochemical reaction can be an oxidation or a reduction reaction. This reaction does not occur spontaneously and a potential is applied to make it happen. In most applications, Oxidative detection is applied and electrons are transferred to the electrode. An elevated temperature or high pH in most cases favors an oxidation reaction. In practice, this means that at high temperature or pH, a somewhat lower potential should be applied. The electrode potential facilitates the electrochemical reaction. At low potential, nothing happens. At a higher potential, oxidation will occur. There is a maximum to the potential that can be applied. This upper limit is determined by oxidation of mobile phase. We are talking about electrolysis of water, for example. This maximum is between 1.5 and 2 volts. It is important to find the optimum detection potential. It should be high enough to measure the substance of interest, but it should not be higher than necessary. At high potential, the noise increases and other peaks might show up that interfere with the HPLC separation. There are a few ways to find the optimum potential for detection. With the pure substance of interest, a scanning voltammogram can be constructed. When the HPLC conditions are known, a hydrodynamic voltammogram can be obtained. A hydrodynamic voltammogram is obtained by recording a couple of runs with incremental potential. The peak heights, noise levels, and interfering peaks are analyzed. The optimum with the best signal to noise ratio is used for HPLC detection. A scanning voltammogram is obtained with a pure substance dissolved in mobile phase. The detector is operated in the scan mode. The sample is flushed through the cell under continuous flow conditions and the potential is ramped up and down. The optimum oxidation potential for detection can be recognized as a deflection in the curve. In case a substance has more than one oxidation potential, the smallest potential is used. At smaller potential, less interfering peaks are seen. In the example, the optimum would be around 200 millivolt. We all know Beer's law for UV detection. It shows the relation between concentration and emission or peak height. In electrochemical detection, a similar equation exists, which is called the Cottrell equation. It shows the relation between the concentration and the limiting current, which is the peak height. This equation may look somewhat intimidating, but after rearranging, it can be considerably simplified. This is the simplified Cottrell equation, 
which shows that the peak height is related to the working electrode area, the spacer thickness and the concentration. Of course, electrochemical detection can only be applied when the substance of interest is electrochemically active. The imaginary molecule shows a number of electrochemically active groups. If your substance of interest contains one of these groups, it can be analyzed by electrochemical detection. There are many applications of HPLC with the electrochemical detection in different research areas. For more information on our products and applications, visit our website at www.myantech.com. Thank you for your attention.